Before we begin, I want to wish a happy life to the person celebrating their birthday today. Without further ado, let's dive right into the storyline. An American couple is participating in a church-sponsored mission to help children in need in China. They decide to extend their trip and embark on the legendary Trans-Siberian Express, a train that travels from China to Moscow through the vast expanse of Russia. However, their journey encounters surprises they never imagined. The movie begins with the discovery of a body at a port in Russia by Detective Grinko. The frozen corpse appears to be in the midst of enjoying a meal with a knife lodged behind its head. It seems that the corpse was one of the drug dealers from Russia, and when Grinko searched for the drugs, they were already gone. The scene then jumps to Beijing, China, where Roy and his wife Jesse are seen celebrating a farewell party with other missionaries while showcasing photos taken by Jesse. Roy who has a great passion for locomotives, decides to travel to Moscow by train through the Trans-Siberian Railway. Meanwhile, Jesse doesn't mind because with her hobby of photography, she has the opportunity to capture pictures of various subjects during the journey. After a while, Roy and Jesse decide to have a meal. Suddenly, they become puzzled as they see a police officer conducting a search on passengers with his tracking dog. A Russian man seated beside their table tells them that the police officer is searching for drugs and this is a normal procedure. Roy in his silliness, attempts to pet the dog and is scolded by the police. The man continues to tell them not to mess around with Russian police. He then recounts an incident where he saw someone detained and lose two of his dose for refusing to pay a fine just because there was a misspelled name on his visa. The man then gives them a bottle of champagne and leaves, walking with a limp. After passing several stations, Jesse is awakened by the two couples, Carlos and Abby, who are her cabin mates and whom Roy has already befriended. Roy then tells Jesse to get ready because they are arriving at the border station. At the station, while Roy enthusiastically explains about train-related topics, Jesse is more curious about their new cabin mates and asks where they are from. Roy tells Jesse that they are teaching English and Spanish in Japan. Jesse then takes a picture of them. The train is departing. Carlos asks Roy and Jesse to join their table. Carlos then asks Roy about customs. Roy responds, saying that it's quite challenging. Carlos doesn't believe him and requests to see Roy's passport. After inspecting Roy's passport, Carlos figures out that Roy's passport is new and has no stamps. This is why customs was suspicious, as new passports are easy to forge. Carlos then shows his passport with many stamps. While Roy enjoys his drink and starts chatting with the local passengers, Jesse and Abby have a conversation. Abby is from Seattle and has been traveling a lot for the past two years with no plans to return home. Meanwhile Jesse talks about how she has never participated in a program to help people in need before, unlike Roy who is good at it. The next day, after taking some pictures, Jesse returns to her cabin and finds Carlos seeming to put something back in his bag. Carlos then invites Jesse in and expresses interest in seeing the pictures she took. He seems amazed by them. Then. Carlos locks the door and shows Jesse his Matryoshka dolls. He explains that there are two types, one is smiling and the other is sad. Carlos shows Jesse the sad one and mentions that he wants to sell it in Amsterdam. Carlos begins to open the dolls, but suddenly, Abby arrives and Carlos hurriedly puts the doll back in his bag. Not long after, Roy also arrives and informs them that they have arrived at the next station. At the station stop, Roy excitedly visits an old train with Carlos. They talk about how Carlos travels a lot unlike Roy and Jesse. Also, Roy shares that they actually have a problem in their marriage regarding Jesse not seeming ready to have a baby. Roy enthusiastically continues checking the old train, while Carlos takes a piece of iron pipe and is seen looking around, following Roy. Meanwhile, Jesse and Abby seem to be getting along. Jesse shares that she was a bit rebellious in the past before meeting Roy. She was once in prison for nine days and had to detox because of drug use. On the other hand, Abby seems like a good girl mentioning that she wants to stay in one place and start a family. Suddenly, Abby seems to notice someone and then asks Jesse to come back to the train. The train departs again, and Jesse is waiting for Roy in their cabin. She then begins to search for him. After checking everywhere for a while, she doesn't find him and starts to panic. She then meets Carlos and Abby. Carlos tells her that Roy went to check the old train, and Carlos left him to buy some food. They then report it to the attendant. The attendant says that Roy must have been placed on the next train. Unfortunately, the next train is delayed due to drug inspections, and it will arrive tomorrow. Jesse appears frustrated, while Carlos looks quite concerned after hearing this. In the next stop, Jesse decides to get off the train and wait for Roy. Abby, who is concerned, doesn't want to leave Jesse alone. So she joins her along with Carlos. Together, they look for a hotel. In the hotel, Jesse asks the receptionist to help her by calling the station, but she doesn't receive any information about Roy. At the table, Abby tries to comfort Jesse. Carlos then shows up after placing an order, but when Jesse notices a Matryoshka pepper shaker, 
She shows it to Carlos, pointing out that it's similar to his. Suddenly, Abby seems angry and leaves the table, leaving Jesse confused. Carlos insists that Abby didn't know he had a doll, which is why they had trouble with customs the other day. Jesse then tells Carlos that he is being irresponsible and that Abby is a good girl. Carlos responds by telling Jesse that Roy mentioned she was a bit rebellious in the past and begins to question the purpose of her trip. There appears to be tension between them. But Carlos looks interested and tries to hold Jesse's hand when she is about to leave. The next morning, while Jesse is checking her camera, suddenly Carlos visits her and asks to use her bathroom because his is broken. Jesse allows him, and while Carlos is taking a shower, Jesse asks where Abby is, but Carlos doesn't respond. Jesse then takes a peek at Carlos who is showering. Suddenly, the telephone rings. It's the receptionist calling to inform that there's a call from another hotel saying they have an American guest. Jesse then tells Carlos and leaves her room key on the table. In the lobby, the receptionist tells her that the American guest is not Roy and asks Jesse to be patient. While Jesse is frustrated, Carlos suggests visiting a place around the city because the next train arrives at noon. But Jesse refuses. Suddenly, she gets a call from Roy and she seems relieved. Roy begins to tell her that he is okay and starts talking about finding an old train. Roy also informs her that his train will arrive at noon. Then suddenly the call gets disconnected. After hearing this, Carlos convinces Jesse again to visit a place, and this time she agrees. Meanwhile, in another scene, Abby is talking to a local about the nearby airport. The local informs her that he can take her there by bus later tonight. It appears Abby is planning to leave on her own. Back to Jesse and Carlos, they finally arrive using a bus. After walking for a while to the location, Jesse wants to go back because it's deep into the woods, but Carlos convinces her that they are almost there. They finally see what they have been looking for. Jesse then takes a picture of Carlos with what appears to be an old church in the background. In the old church, Jesse is amazed by it and begins to take pictures. After Carlos takes a picture of Jesse, he tries to seduce her, and Jesse starts to kiss him. But suddenly, Jesse doesn't want to continue and decides to leave. However, Carlos persists and starts to chase Jesse. At first, Carlos thinks that Jesse is just playing hard to get. But that changes when Jesse begins to hit him with a plank several times, ultimately killing Carlos. Jesse then returns to her hotel using a bus while covering a blood stain on her coat. In her room, while she is crying and trying to wash the blood stain, she is startled by a porter who wants to take her suitcase. Finally, Roy arrives, and she takes off her gloves with blood stains before hugging Roy and crying. They then board the train. Meanwhile, in the hotel lobby, Abby is looking for Carlos. The receptionist says that he left with Jesse this morning on a bus. However, the receptionist doesn't see Carlos when Jesse returns to the hotel. Back with Jesse and Roy, when Roy starts talking about his experience and befriending with a Russian man, Jesse looks panicked and scared when she sees Abby trying to catch the train while looking for Carlos. Thankfully, Abby doesn't see her. Not long after, the Russian man Roy talked about appears, and surprisingly, he is Detective Grinko and their new cabin mate. He then invites Roy and Jesse to have dinner with him. While having dinner, Grinko doesn't seem to hide his identity as a detective, and begins telling a story about the drug traffickers who are becoming more creative in smuggling drugs, such as disguising them as handicrafts. When Grinko mentions that they usually appear like students and seem normal, Roy then starts talking about Carlos and Abby, who are always traveling and know about passport forgery and getting through customs. Roy assumes that they might be involved in criminal activities. Jesse looks annoyed with Roy for talking too much. Grinko then asks Jesse where they are. Jesse tells him that she left them at the previous station. The scene then shifts to the cabin where Roy and Jesse are preparing to sleep. Jesse then checks her suitcase, to her surprise, she sees Carlos's Matryoshka doll on her suitcase. She then assumes that Carlos placed it in the hotel room. Suddenly, Grinko enters, and Jesse hurriedly closes her suitcase and intends to put it away. Grinko then offers to help, but even though she declines, Grinko still insists. Jesse is still in shock, and their train will arrive in Moscow in three days. When everyone is asleep, Jesse carefully takes her camera bag and puts the dolls inside. She then exits her cabin and is noticed by one of the attendants. Jesse goes into the toilet and begins to take out the dolls. She then remembers that Carlos forbade her from seeing the smiling dolls. Jesse takes the smiling doll and smashes it into the toilet. And indeed, the doll is lined with heroin. As Jesse goes to smash it in the toilet again, the attendant hears the noise and goes to check on Jesse. The attendant knocks on the door and Jesse begins to panic and puts the doll back. She then leaves and gets an idea to throw the bag out of the train. She then tries to open the door. When she succeeds and is about to throw the bag, the attendant spots her and grabs Jesse, pulling her back and closing the door. Jesse returns to her cabin exhausted, and Grinko secretly notices her. The next morning, they arrive at a stop station. Jesse, with her bag, tells Roy that she wants to take pictures. Outside the train, 
Jessie begins to look for a way to dispose of the dolls, she then notices a dumpster, and when she is about to take out the dolls, she is startled by Grinko. Grinko jokingly suggests taking pictures in the opposite direction, away from the dumpster. He then offers to carry her bag. Jessie plays along and starts taking pictures of the locals. While Grinko tells Jessie that he received information that his colleague didn't find Carlos and Abby at the station Jessie mentioned earlier, Jessie notices that the bag is not fully zipped and the dolls are visible. Grinko's phone then rings, and Jessie takes her bag back, quickly returning to the train. Grinko appears more suspicious to Jessie. In the cabin, Jessie looks panicked, and suddenly Grinko and another detective appear, asking Jessie to follow them for a conversation. Grinko begins to interrogate Jessie, asking if she was with Carlos and Abby on the train before, to which Jessie denies. With a little intimidation, Grinko tells her that the receptionist saw them having dinner together at the hotel. Jessie falls silent, and suddenly a tracking dog starts barking, causing the other detective to check it out. Jessie hurries back to her cabin and finds Roy checking her bag. He asks where she got the dolls. Jessie tells him that Carlos gave them to her. Jessie begins to feel scared and starts crying. After a while, Roy and Jessie take the bag and meet Grinko. After checking the dolls, indeed it contained heroin. Jessie tells Grinko that Carlos put it in her suitcase when he was in her room. After that, she saw Carlos and Abby leave together. She also mentions that she lied before because she was afraid something might happen to Abby, as she is a good girl and has nothing to do with what Carlos is doing. In the cabin, while the other detective searches Jessie's bag, Grinko checks the pictures on her camera. Jessie becomes nervous as Grinko examines the pictures one by one, hoping he doesn't find a picture of Carlos that would confirm they were together. Fortunately, when Carlos's picture appears on the screen, Grinko is distracted by his friend who has finished checking the bag. Jessie quickly retrieves her camera. They arrive at another station, and Jessie checks her camera, deleting all the pictures. Suddenly, she notices Grinko and his friend handing the heroin to another person and decides to take a picture of them. After a while, the train departs. Roy seems to comfort Jessie, telling her they did the right thing. Jessie then wants to get some sugar in the dining car. As Jessie walks to the dining car, we can see that the car doesn't seem as crowded as usual. When Jessie opens the door, she almost falls because there is no carriage. After hanging onto the door handle for a while, Roy comes to rescue her. They then check another carriage and find no other passengers. To their surprise, they find Grinko and his friend. Roy is confused and asks Grinko what happened and where the other cars are. Grinko's friend pulls out his gun, and Roy then calms down and sits. Grinko asks Jesse again, where is Carlos? Because he received information that they were seen taking a bus together. Roy becomes angry that Grinko is accusing his wife of lying, but calms down again after the other guy pulls the trigger. The train then stops in the middle of nowhere, and Jesse and Roy are forced to get out of the train. Grinko takes them to a tunnel. There, they are also forced to take off their shoes and socks. Suddenly, they see Abby who has been tortured. Jesse asks Grinko to let her go because she is innocent. Grinko then explains that she killed the man who was frozen with a knife in the back of his head, and stole their drugs and money. Grinko assumes that Carlos had the money. Abby begins to be tortured again to force Jesse to reveal where Carlos is. Finally, Jesse confesses that they took a bus to a place to take pictures, and Jesse returned to the hotel while Carlos went to town. After that, she didn't see him again. Grinko seems to believe her and leaves them for a while. Outside, they realize that Jesse is lying. Grinko instructs his partner to shoot Roy in the knee later. It seems that Grinko is working with drug dealers, and he is threatened to find the money quickly. Back to Roy and Jesse, Roy asks Jesse to tell the truth, but Jesse seems to hold back. Roy then decides to escape and begins to find a way out. Meanwhile, Abby tells Jesse not to leave her and denies everything that Grinko said earlier. Finally, Roy finds a door, and Abby holds Jesse's hand asking where Carlos is. Jesse then presses on Abby's wound and leaves with Roy. Abby's screams are heard by Grinko's partner, and when he comes back, Roy and Jesse are gone. He then chases them, and after a while, Roy and Jesse manage to escape, but Grinko sees them running back to the train. Roy and Jesse were successful in disabling the train's engineer, and they forcefully removed him from the train. Afterward, Roy attempts to get the train moving again by pressing buttons without a specific plan. Meanwhile, Jesse sees the man who had been pursuing them approaching, so she quickly moves to shut the door. Finally, Roy succeeds in starting the engine and the train begins to move. Grinko tries to catch up to the train. Suddenly, the train comes to a stop and the man manages to board, continuing to chase Jesse. He forces his way in. Roy tries to stop him, but he's too strong, and Roy loses consciousness. Just as the man is about to shoot Roy, Grinko arrives and orders him to put down his gun. Grinko then forces Jesse to tell him where Carlos is, threatening that Roy will die otherwise. Meanwhile, we can see that the train is on a collision course with another train. After being forced, 
Jesse finally confesses that she killed Carlos. Grinko looks surprised and suddenly he hears a train approaching, so he takes cover. The two trains then collide. After the collision, the man tells Grinko that he doesn't believe Jesse killed Carlos and wants to shoot her. Jesse seems unable to move. Grinko then checks outside and realizes they collided with a train full of Russian soldiers. When his partner points a gun at Jesse, Grinko asks to handle it himself. Surprisingly, Grinko shoots him. The army approaches, and Grinko speaks in Russian, explaining that he is a detective and the man he shot had taken over the train, holding the American tourist hostage. The soldiers believe Grinko and lower their guns, then help Jesse and Roy. While being carried, Jesse tells the soldier that Grinko wants to kill her, but the soldiers don't understand. Grinko pretends not to understand either and leaves the scene. The scene then jumps to the hotel in Moscow, where an FBI agent comes to visit Roy and Jesse to take their statements. The agent explains that Grinko is working with Russian drug dealers and is currently being pursued. Meanwhile, Carlos is from Spain is also being pursued and has a record of theft, possession, sexual assault, and trafficking, although trafficking is a new charge for him. Jesse then asks about Abby. The agent says that she is from Seattle, has no family, and will be sent back to her home state. Both Jesse and Roy sign their statements as true. Before returning to the US, Jesse visits Abby in the hospital and appears to want to tell her something. After a while, Roy and Jesse are on the plane and feel happy to be heading back home. Meanwhile, Abby seems determined to find Carlos's body. When she finds him, she checks his jacket, takes their money that they stole from the drug dealers, and leaves him. The end. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more interesting movie recaps. See you in the next video.